Hey you guys, it's Jen at Jen's Haunts, and I just wanted to show you that Evelyn and I made a uh, Halloween candy shoot um, today, and I wanted to show you how I did mine. I was trying to do it as easy as possible. I just zip tied that to the top of my deck. I used blue, blue painter's tape, wrapped it around, spray painted it black, then took off the tape, and ended up with white and black. So in this base, I have a piece of rebar, which I slid that down, and then I purchased a like Y bracket. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I've got tape in here so that the camera, I mean the um, candy doesn't get stuck in there. So um, that should work. This front mask, I purchased that. That is supposed to go on your front door light over it so I just glue gunned it on here and then created a hole with a sign to put your candy here so my assistant has dressed up as a trick-or-treater and she's got her bucket so we'll try it out for you guys and see if it works all right so here's my assistant Evelyn she's got her bucket down there and um, she's all ready for Halloween so this is perfect. She's going to be Elsa this year. And I've got a couple different sizes. The heavier the candy, the probably, probably the better. And I notice that these, if you put them in the wrong way, they get stuck in the pipe. Um, but I only did an inch and a half. So if you, did, if you do two, maybe you'll be better off. Okay, Evelyn, you ready? Yes, I'm ready for some candy. Let's see if it works. It I'm worked. Gonna, I'm gonna totally put these in the candy stash. Okay. okay. Here comes nerds. Kind of a tight fit. I got the nerds. I heard it. Okay. Let's see this one. That it. sounds right. It okay, let's out. try the Twix. Ooh, Twix is my favorite. Okay, now let's try the problem child. This would probably work better if it was a larger size candy. Um, the weight helps it get down the pipe. But let's see. Cross our fingers. Oh, good. Okay, then. All right. So this is working. All right, let's see your candy, kid. You forgot. There's still one candy. Well, that's okay. Let me see your bucket. So there it is. It works. The pipe that I purchased was um, just one big 10 foot piece and then um, I cut it with a saw um, I do have a cutter for PVC but um, this PVC was too thick so cutting it with the saw was a little bit of work but it was okay so since this is all lit up and I've got my doors and the the stuff at the bottom of the doors let me show you that So at the bottom of 4th of July, I have a couple fireworks, and that is Thanksgiving. I have the hat, and then for Valentine's Day, I have a package. I just created that out of um, the insulation foam. And then we come over to Christmas, and there's the Christmas gifts down there. So there's that. Here's Easter. Here's my eggs and some random eggs and then for the um st patrick's day i went ahead and we made a leprechaun catcher so i just decided to put that down there um because it was already made and then last but not least we have halloween and uh here's the bottom piece for that all right, you guys, so here's the view from the street. It's still a little light out, but um, I think it looks good. I like the Christmas lighting at the top. Looks like some of that needs to be put back up on the gutter. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I'm toying with the idea of doing um, some projection um, above the garage door that would probably be pretty easy I did brought 
purchased the CD of the music from The Nightmare Before Christmas. So I'll certainly be playing that and I'll have my fog machines out. That'll be cool too. So yeah, I think the kids are, are gonna really like this. They've been coming by. Some kids come by every night they come. So what do you think of the candy shoot, Evelyn? Do you think the kids are gonna like it? Yeah, I found free candy and she, she did it down there. Where'd this last one go? I don't know. Okay, Evelyn, throw it down the pipe. Oh, it made it, but it knocked it over. Okay, let's see the next one. All right, you guys, so I think that I'm happy. It, it works. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and I'll talk to you later.